Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Carroll, co-founder and director of Agent Growth and Development here at the Carroll Home Team uh, with EXP in the Space and Treasure Coast of Florida. And I wanna talk to you in this video about my top five favorite neighborhoods in Vero Beach, Florida without HOAs, homeowners associations. So if you find this content helpful, go ahead, give it a like. If you have any questions about any of the neighborhoods that I'm gonna cover, uh, drop me a comment below and I am quick to respond and I'm happy to get you some more information. If you want a copy of our free Vero Beach Locals Guide, our favorite spots in Vero Beach, to eat, go on nature walks, shop, et cetera, you name it. We've got it. Uh, leave me a comment below and I will be happy to send that over to you as well. Make sure you hit subscribe, uh, like, you can click the bell uh, to get notifications of any future videos that are gonna drop. So you know what to do. So I'm gonna talk to you about my five favorite Bureau Beach neighborhoods without homeowners associations, so no HOA. Um, I want to talk to you really in this video about what I like about them, like why did I pick them and why do I like them? And then like an average price range or average price that you can expect to pay in that neighborhood if you want to live there too. Okay, so not in any specific order, but I'm going to jump right into it. My first Vero Beach neighborhood is going to be the Vero Beach Country Club. Why do I like the Vero Beach Country Club? Oh, for so many reasons. First of all, it's a great neighborhood feel. The roads are windy when you go back through there. The, the um, golf course is maintained absolutely beautifully, so it's just really nice even to drive past and see the grounds. The homes in there are really unique. There's a nice mixture of some some uh, like 1940s plus homes in there that were uh, restored. There's some traditional homes in there, large homes, small homes. Uh, a lot of them are maintained really well. You can tell when you go through Vero Beach Country Club that there is a high um, pride of ownership. So it's, it's really lovely in there. And the trees. The trees are a, um, a big selling point for me always in a neighborhood. There's a lot of beautiful live oaks and old mature trees in there that really give it a homey, old Florida um, neighborhood type of feel. I love Vero Beach Country Club area. I think it's really, really beautiful, um, very safe, uh, not a lot of stuff going on that you wouldn't expect in uh, residential neighborhood. So I really love it. I also feel like it's very centrally located to a lot of conveniences, shopping, restaurants, um, you know, close to the hospital, close to US-1 if you need to go up and down, um, out of Vero. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really nice neighborhood. It's one of my very, very favorites. Makes my top five list, obviously. Um, what can you expect to pay for a home in Vero Beach Country Club? Well, the price range really does vary depending on the size of the home, obviously if it's been updated or not, and the size of the lot, which can fluctuate a little bit. Um, you, you're going to probably start around the low to mid 500,000 range, and then go up just a little bit from there, probably into the 700,000s. But you're probably safe to say 500,000 plus a little bit. Um, so that's Vero Beach Country Club. So my second top neighborhood in Vero Beach is McCanch Park. So McCanch Park is an area in between 20th and 27th Avenue, north of Route 60 in Vero Beach. If you've never been here, that's okay. But if you are local to here, you know where that area is. And it's got a really neat mixture of homes, typically mid-size homes to small homes. Your lot sizes are going to be definitely less than half of an acre. Standard lot size here in Vero Beach is like a little bit under a quarter of an acre. So that's 
typically what you're gonna find inside of McCanch Park. But McCanch Park is a really unique community here in Vero Beach. They do um, a lot of really nice things throughout the year. Like for example, they do this beautiful luminary ceremony um, around Christmas time where all of the neighbors line the uh, edge of their street uh, along their property line with um, these little luminaries. So if you're driving past or driving through, all of the uh, sides of the streets are all lit up. It's really, really beautiful. It's really something nice to see. Um, McCanch Park is also a really neat, kind of art, art like artsy feeling community. It's got some really unique homes. A lot of them were original and have been restored, so you're not going to see a lot of new construction. Probably not going to see any new construction really unless somebody's totally bulldozed the old, old house, but it's going to be very rare that you have new construction inside of McCanch Park. So it's a lot of older Florida homes that have been restored. Um, it's one of my favorite neighborhoods. I just really love it. It's pretty centrally located. It's right off of Route 60, so it's a very quick um, hop and a skip to either US-1 or I-95 if you need to travel. Very close to conveniences like convenience stores, Target, Walmart, uh, places to eat, things like that. Um, I think it's a fantastic community. It doesn't have, uh, obviously, no HOA, so it doesn't have any kind of like community amenities or things like that, but it is a lovely um, like neighborhood vibe. Another lovely thing about McCanch Park is the park. So there is a centrally located park there. It's got a nice open field area that you can play or multi-purpose use. It's got a lovely playground there for children. You're always gonna find um, young families there playing with their kids. It's really um, one of the nice little parks that we have here in Vero Beach for families to enjoy. So McCanch Park does have a pretty hefty range as far as pricing goes because it's really gonna depend on the size of the house and if it has been updated or not. Like I mentioned, a lot of old Florida homes some of them are pretty original and a lot of them have been updated. So the prices are gonna vary from like the mid 200s up into the 500s, like high 500 thousands. Um, I would say if you wanted to go and buy a home there today, the average home in McCanch Park, not an under improvement or over improvement, uh, just the average home there is gonna cost you probably around $300,000. So pretty affordable. So my third neighborhood here in Bureau Beach that I love is known by the locals as Doctor's Row. That's not its official name, but again, that's its local name here. It's called Doctor's Row. It was uh, given that name many years ago because I guess a lot of doctors and their families uh, built homes there and were living in that specific area. It actually lies in between 43rd Avenue and 58th Avenue. Um, and 16th Street here in Vero Beach, just to kind of give you um, geographically uh, kind of an idea. And some of the things that I love the most about Doctor's Row is the fact that there's a lot of different kinds of homes there and a lot of different sized lots. So typically in Doctor's Row, what you're gonna find is um, large lots. You might have an acre lot, you might have a three acre lot, you might have a five acre lot with a house on it. Um, they all are kind of their own size um, and like their own, I guess, how do I want to say it? Um, you know, some of them might have like an interesting shape lot as well. But the homes there uh, typically are on the larger side. Very beautiful. Some have been updated, some have not been updated. But it's just a really unique community here in Vero Beach. Um, it's got a really nice neighborhood feel. Not a lot of traffic at all. Not a lot of stuff going through there besides um, like the residential activity and the people who actually live there. It's a nice mix of retirees and families um, with uh, small children and grown children. The price that you're going to be looking at if you want to purchase and live in Doctor's Row is going to be the low 600,000s. 
You might get in there with like a home that needs some renovations in the 500,000s, but typically you're gonna be looking in the low 600,000s to the 700,000s. So you're going to shell out a little bit more money to live in Doctors Row, but you will love the area. It's really beautiful, has an old Florida feel, lots of very mature landscaping, oak trees, all of that good stuff. So if you're finding this content helpful, um, if you have any questions about anything that I've talked about so far, make sure that you hit a little like if you like it. Um, leave me a comment with any of your questions. I'll be happy to get right back to you with everything that you're looking for. And then if you wanna check out my five favorite things about beer why we moved here, give this video a watch and uh, make sure that you check out some of the other videos about Vero Beach. We have a playlist dedicated solely for Vero Beach for you. So hopping right back into it, my fourth favorite neighborhood here in Vero Beach is going to be Forest Park. Now Forest Park is a little bit less known than my three previous neighborhoods that I mentioned, but I really love Forest Park because it's pretty private. It's right off of a golf course. It's got a lot of really beautiful, traditional looking houses. Um, they are on pretty much a standard size lot here in Vero Beach, which is about a half an acre, but they feel much bigger because a lot of them either have forest area behind them, so no neighbors right behind, or they have the golf course behind them. It really makes the homes in that neighborhood feel a lot more spacious. You're gonna get a mixture of homes that have been renovated about probably in the 2010 range. Um, and then you're gonna have a lot of homes that were still original from like the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s in that specific neighborhood. Again, it's located just off of the golf course south of Vista Royale, and I really just love it. It's got a great neighborhood feel. As far as trees, um, you're not gonna find as much mature landscaping there, but the neighborhood is set up so it's really like one road and all the houses are along the road either on the um, forest or the golf course side, which is pretty nice. So you're not having to like make all these turns and loop backs like in some of the other neighborhoods. It's just like one nice long um, road. So anyways, it's got a nice flow. It's got a great neighborhood feel. I really, really like Forest Park. Um, it's one of the neighborhoods that I like to keep my eye on when I come across anybody that's looking to move into the Vera Beach area but doesn't want a HOA. So if you want to move into the Forest Park neighborhood here in Vero Beach, you're going to be spending in between $300,000 and $500,000. So most likely the average home in there, your entry price is going to be mid 300,000s is what you can expect, um, the mid-size home. So that's Forest Park. Now my last neighborhood, my fifth neighborhood here in Vero Beach that I really, really like is um, a pretty special area. It's called Vero Isles. The locals here call it the fingers because when you look at it on a map, it literally looks like somebody's hand with fingers. It's pretty neat. Um, each one of those fingers is actually surrounded by water. So most of the homes inside of Vero Isles um, actually have water frontage where you can dock a boat, um, you can have like a little dock there to sit out, you can keep your kayaks, et cetera, whatever kind of things that you like to do um, on the water. Anyways, Vero Isles, it's just a really unique area. It's extremely close to what we call Miracle Mile, which is an area that has a lot of shopping, a lot of restaurant amenities, um, it's got hair salons, um, banks. It's got a lot of different things that are literally walking distance from Vero Isles. So that's always extremely convenient. It's actually located off of Indian River Drive, which runs along the intercoastal um, on the barrier island here in Vero Beach. And it's a little outcropping off of um, Indian River Drive and really very residential, no through traffic pretty much at all, mostly just residential activity. And there's also a really great park just south of Vero Isles. It's actually 
included in it. Um, on one of those outcroppings, there's a beautiful grassy park that just overlooks the open water of the intercoastal. It's got little park benches and pavilions there. It's a really nice place to go have lunch um, with your significant other or alone. Um, but it's just a very, very nice little uh, amenity that's there for you. So uh, what are you gonna pay for Vero Isles if you want to purchase a home there? Well, get out your checkbook because you are going to pay a hefty 900,000 to 1 million plus to live in this community. It is waterfront. There is a mixture of older homes and new homes. Some of them are like uh, those old style, really cute Florida homes from the 70s. And some of them are really large, newer construction homes. So it's quite a mix. Um, but yeah, you, it, you're gonna pay for what you get as well. Um, the views there are absolutely beautiful, but it's definitely worth looking into. Um, it's a great community. It's one of my very, very favorites here in Vero Beach, very unique. So those are my top five Vero Beach neighborhoods without homeowners associations. I hope you really enjoyed this content. Please let me know if you have any questions about any of the neighborhoods. Obviously, this is very subjective to what my preferences are and what I enjoy in a neighborhood here. If you guys have any other neighborhoods that you love that I haven't mentioned, drop those in the comments below for our other viewers to enjoy and check out as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate you spending your time with me. Um, this is Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team. Talk to you next time. This is Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team here in the Space and Treasure Coast of Florida. If you like this content and you want more, click the videos to my left.